Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create a loop animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we're on the Fusion page and I'm going to demonstrate how to use loop animation in DaVinci Resolve with a couple of examples. Let's bring a background inside the timeline and let's add to it an ellipse and here we're going to connect it to the media out and just show it on screen right here. As you can see we have a circle that is not animated yet, we're just going to do that in a second but first off what I'm going to do is a scale animation. So to do that I need to have a width and a height that are linked together because if I move them separately as you can see we're not retaining the shape of the circle. So I'm just going to reset both of those and then right click on the width, expression, and then with that expression, I'm gonna link it to height. What it does essentially, now those two sliders are bound together, and when I move the height, it moves the width according to it. So we're basically retaining the shape of the circle. Now to keyframe an animation, I'm just gonna reduce the height a little bit, go to frame zero, and then I'm gonna add a keyframe, then go to frame 20, and then I'm gonna raise a little bit the height, and here, as you can see, I have a very simple scale animation. It's not smooth at all, because right now it's linear. To smooth it out, we're gonna go over to Spline, then we're gonna tick Ellipse 1. We're gonna select those two keyframe points that we just set, and here in my keyboard, I'm gonna hit the letter S, and that's just gonna create a curve that smooths out the animation. And now, as you can see, it's way smoother before that was linear, and now it's way smoother. Now let's get into the core of the video and use the loop functionality inside of DaVinci. Here you have two possibilities. You have set ping pong and you have set loop. There are two different functions that are gonna help you differently depending on what you try to achieve. For this one, what I would like to do is having something that go up and down, up and down. So to do that, I'm gonna use ping pong because it's gonna replicate the animation in and the animation out. So right now let's click on set ping pong and as you can see it's creating a wave right there here that mirror the point in and the point out that we've created and then we have something that is consistent that is going up and down up and down but you have another option right here that is set loop just gonna replicate only the point that we've created it's not gonna mirror them it's just gonna replicate the in and the out and then start from zero so now if we try to play it again here as you can see go up 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 and it's always starting from zero while the other one is just mirroring it it's really just depend what you try to achieve here so now let me give you a second example to make sure you properly understand how it works basically here we're at from zero i'm gonna add a center keyframe here and then go to the 20th frame again and here i'm gonna move this square down to the other side so now i have a simple animation again that's going from one side to another here, if we recenter on the spine editor, I'm gonna smooth it out again. Let's just select those two key points, hit the letter S, and now we have an animation again that is smoother. And now let's check the difference between ping pong and set loop. Here, if I were to select ping pong, as you can see, it's gonna go back and forth between the two sides of the frame. And that could be very useful if that's what you try to achieve. Uh, and then if you just want to go from one side to another and replicate it going from one side to another one side to another you can just not select ping pong but select set loop instead and what it does now essentially is going just from left to right left to right left to right and continuing the same animation again and again i hope this video was clear enough so let me know in the comment if you have any question i'll be happy to try to help you figure it out if you didn't understand don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next one bye Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.